determine the relationship between the torque n and the torsion angle phi for the tube whose wall thickness delta r is quite less than the radius so we have this tube and its thickness delta r is less than r is quite less than r we need to find the relation between this torque tau and the angle twisted so that is the torsion angle the angle twisted by the top part of this tube if we fix the bottom part so torsion you can imagine means twisting so we are twisting the rod so if you want to twist obviously one end of the of this tube we have to keep fixed and then we twist the other end of the rod so if that end moves by angle phi we need the relation between torque and phi second part the same thing but for the solid rod now the length radius and shear modulus of the tube and the material is known to us so just a brief recap of what's shear modulus so if you have an object so this is a 3d object so it's a cuboid shaped object and on the top layer if you put a shear uh, if you put a parallel force to the surface that is f then and and the, let's say the top area of this of this cuboid is a then shear then this ratio of shear stress that is f by a and shear strain that is this theta or you can say that this displacement upon this length so that is constant and that is called shear modulus of the material here the material is not straight but it is curved but here the direction of force is tangential to the material everywhere and here also you can imagine that everywhere the force is tangential to the material so here this top part has moved by an angle theta so here also you can imagine that this part has moved by an angle theta so these are figures are quite same if you straighten this cylinder then this image will be exactly like this and because like i said everywhere the force is tangential so you can just sum up that force and that will be one one force f and due to that force f you have a shear strain theta so anyway we need to talk about torque so you can imagine we because of this twist theta we can find a relation between f and theta and if you know f because the tangential force is acting on the same distance r so if you multiply that f by r we will get the torque so that's how we are going to get a relation between torque and theta but we need the relation between torque and phi so you can see theta and phi are also related so once again in this whole problem we need a relation between tau and phi what we know is the relation between f and theta so these situations are similar so we can imagine we will know the relation between tangential force f and theta now f can be related with torque and theta can be related with phi so we will get a relation between torque and phi so let's read a bit let's say the tangential force acting on top surface causes torque tau and it twists the flag at top by phi so this flag which was tied at the top due to this torque it has moved by this angle phi with respect to center so phi is with respect to center and theta with respect to bottom so theta with respect to the fixed bottom we need to find the relation between torque and phi so in shear we need to find this top area on which this force is acting so here also this force is acting on this top layer and this area of this top layer is 2 pi r delta r so torque is equal to fr and we need to introduce the shear modulus so light let's divide and multiply by a so f by a is g theta and a we will write as 2 pi r delta r and now we got a relation between torque and theta so but we need a relation between torque and phi so let's relate theta and phi so phi into r is equal to theta into l so we'll replace theta with phi r by l and therefore we got the relation between torque and phi 
Now to the next part for the solid rod. So solid rod also the it will look similar. So the bottom is fixed. So you are twisting by an angle tau. And let's say this point has moved by an angle phi. So again from the bottom this point has moved by an angle theta. So here we have we need to find the relation between total torque tau and phi. But we but uh, we don't know what is the total torque is. So we'll consider a small cylindrical shell. And then the situation is similar to this because here the cylindrical shell element has turned by phi. And here also you can see that every cylindrical shell element has also turned by phi. So this mark on the shell has moved by an angle phi. So let the total torque be tau. Then on the cylinder, cylindrical element, it's d tau. Also, all cylindrical elements are twisted by the same angle phi. So now let's talk about the shell only. So the area on top of the shell is 2 pi r dr. Torque is d tau. Angle turn is phi. So for the shell, d tau, we have already used this. So we are going to use this formula directly, which relates, relates torque and phi. So d tau is equal to this times phi. One small difference is there we use the term delta r, but here we are going to use the term dr. So we got the relation between r and tau. So we'll integrate. So r goes from 0 to r. I think to avoid the confusion, let me replace this by <coughs> capital R. All right. So r goes from 0 to r. And therefore, we got a relation between torque and phi again. All right.